Hi guys! Welcome back to another Academy tutorial. Today, we're looking at guides. We have a few types of guides in our app, so we're going to go through them one by one. While this might be a straightforward topic, pun intended, I'm sure there are a few things you did not know about our app's little helpers. For this artwork specifically, I've used two different types of guides. Let's start with the basics. If we look at our artboard here, you might notice these handles here sticking out. These mark the presence of vertical or horizontal guides. In order to create these guides, first of all, we need to make sure they are active. So, from settings, you need to turn these two toggles on, the ruler and the guides. Mine were already on, of course, otherwise the guides wouldn't have shown. Once those are on, all you need to do is tap anywhere along the ruler to create your guide, and then drag them to where they need to be. And you can get super precise about this if you zoom in like me. These guides are very useful for geometric design or prints. The same process applies to creating a horizontal guide. Be mindful that undoing or redoing is also going to affect the guides you placed or deleted. If you want to remove guides with more precision, you just need to tap and swipe on that specific guide. And now it's gone. All right, moving on. You probably noticed by now that I have these subtle lines on my artboard that look like basic shapes. If I want to select them, I cannot. That's not because they are locked, it's because they are what we call object guides. They're only accessible from the layers panel in this guide section here. Tap on it and you immediately jump into the guide space, which I can see here. We can see both the vertical and horizontal lines that we created from the ruler, and four more guides that look like simple shapes, like circles and triangles. Maybe you missed this because the change happened really quickly, but check out the toolbar. It's completely different now. Let's go back so you can see it again. Don't take your eyes off this area here. Bam, see? Now we're back to the usual. And going back to guides gives me this simplified toolbar that is specific to the object guides. Here we can find the selection tool with all the modes that we know and love, multi-select, duplicate, and click through. And then we have all the basic shapes laid out here for easy access. Pretty self-explanatory. Finally, there's the color widget. Object guides are really useful for creating compositions that need to be aligned very precisely within some specific bounds. Like in my case, I'm creating this design to be printed on a t-shirt. So here I recreated my artboard on top of the t-shirt and placed my guides in a way that signals the maximum design area that I have at my disposal, where the crew neck is and so on. Let's go back to the other artboard, which is a replica of this one that's placed on top of the t-shirt so you can see how I created the guides. Simply pick up whatever shape you need, let's go with the oval tool, and create a circle just as you normally would in our app. So just tap and drag, and then hold down one finger to preserve proportions. If you want to align your guides perfectly to the center or middle, the easiest way to do this is by going back to settings and activating the snap to guides function, which is here, as well as smart guides. So now, when I move my circle around, it automatically snaps in the middle. When it snaps, these blue lines appear to indicate how the snapping takes place, in relation to the other guides or to the artboard itself. But as you can see, we also have the quick actions feature here, meaning that we can use all these alignment functions as well. So ultimately, in the guide section, we have access to a lot of the functionalities already present in our app, if I activate multi-select here, I can easily work with multiple guides at once. We also have duplicate, rotate, opacity, stack order, and stroke width to help you work with and define your guides exactly the way you want. In my case, this guide will give me information about where the graphics should be. These guides tell me where the text should be placed, while this one at the top tells me where the crew neck ends. Let's apply all this information provided by our guides to adjust the design. All right, now I'm aligning my design so it's precisely in the middle of my guide. Here, I've actually decided to make the guide smaller rather than the design bigger. So I'm just going back to the guides and using the scale mode of the selection tool to align my guide to the design instead of the other way around. Here I am aligning my text. 
and here we go. Before using the artwork or sending it to the printer, we can always hide these guides for final checks. So let's go to settings and disable this toggle here. Now that we're in this clean canvas, I want us to take a final, closer look at smart guides. Having this toggle turned on allows me to align different elements of my design to various embedded guides within my artboard. So here, these blue lines tell me that this is perfectly aligned in the vertical center. And if I move here, I know that it's aligned horizontally as well. That's all about our guides. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Let us know if you want to see any other tutorials from us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the next video to keep learning. Bye!